while shooting a music video, the last thing you expect is to almost lose your life. I don't think I've talked about this to anyone after the film was made by Morgan Cooper because I honestly moved on from it and I wanted to keep it in the past for whatever that's worth. But I recently realized that I never really spoke deeply about the story and what happened after. So let's talk about it in this video. Since 2019, when the film was released, I've heard so many terrible stories with guns on productions. These stories come from all levels of the film industry, from low-level music videos to Hollywood films. In October 2021, the cinematographer Helena Hutchins was filming with lead actor Alec Baldwin when Alec Baldwin fires an accidental live round from a prop gun that killed Hutchins. In 2020, Khalil Walker dies after being accidentally shot by friend and rap artist Lil Loaded while shooting a music video in their city. I hear so many stories like this that affect the film industry, but these are the ones just dealing with celebrities. Imagine the stories that don't get platformed. And unlike these other filmmakers, I live to tell the story and it could have been much worse than it was. So for those who don't know the story, I was shooting a music video for an artist that is local in the city. And during his performance and the gun being pointed directly at my camera, the gun goes off. He accidentally squeezes the trigger and you hear a loud bang. So the bullet ends up going straight through my Sony A7S. On the way out of the camera, it hits a metal plate and that metal plate ricochets the bullet away from my chest. It all just happened so fast. And when people say things happen quick, it, it really does. One moment you're shooting a music video and then bang, the gun that is two feet away from you pointed directly at you goes off. All you can really feel in that moment is regret. In that moment, all you can think about is everything and everyone who told you not to shoot with guns in your music videos. Some people think it's cool to have a gun pointed at them to show that they're fearless or they're tough, but I can tell you that all that goes out the window very fast. Today, four years after the incident, that one day really changed everything for me. And of course, I stopped shooting music videos with guns, but I think that day really pushed me to be more intentional about the time that I spend here on earth and how I'm investing my time into my art. Four years after the incident and all I can really think about right now is just how grateful I am to be able to tell my story. Those cinematographers and filmmakers and creatives that lost their life to just nonsense on set and being careless. They lost their lives doing what they thought was the right thing. And sometimes life could just be unfair like that. Shooting music videos, creating visual art and being a cinematographer, you think that's a, a great path to walk and it's a, it's a straight narrow path as they might say. So to lose your life in a career that many people deem safe and secure is just outside of me. Thinking about Helena Hutchins and Khalil Walker in their last moments, what were their thoughts? That really is disheartening. Me having this dark moment in my life portrayed in a beautiful film by Morgan Cooper has really brought light to the situation. And I only can look back on it with gratitude and thankfulness that I'm here and I get another chance to create art and refocus my time and just do the best I can do. I moved on from the situation and I feel like that's a part of my chapter one and I think I'm on chapter two or three, whatever chapter we're on right now, but whatever my beginning chapter was, it's in there. I don't want any sympathy. I don't want anyone to think that they're on the wrong path of shooting music videos. I just want more filmmakers and videographers to be aware that this is a situation that could happen. But if I gave some of my humble advice to a upcoming videographer trying to pay his bills and shoot these music videos, uh, here's some advice. 
If you're a videographer and you're trying to get into the industry, I would say PA more. Be a production assistant to your local cinematographers. Being a PA, you can get on so many different types of productions, big productions, small productions, all types, just PAing and being a production assistant. And to be a production assistant, you don't need anything. You just need a good attitude and a good work ethic. And that advice might be obvious to some people, but when I was coming up, I, I thought you needed to know a lot about film to even get on productions. Maybe think about getting a part-time job until you stack enough cash to actually transition fully into full-time filmmaking. I know as creatives, we really value our time and our freedom, but you have to make this sacrifice up front so you can smoothly transition into being a full-time filmmaker. So yeah, look into part-time jobs anywhere, somewhere. <laughs> I found that making creative treatments slash mood boards of a vision that you have for a song and then send that over to the artist, they love that because one, they see that you are invested into the song and artists love when you, you like their music. And two, most importantly, when you show them your vision, it really helps the artists think outside of the box and it opens up opportunities and just more creative direction uh, for their songs. As you're up and coming, don't say yes to every project. Be very selective about the projects that you're taking on and you're going to lose lower level projects up front, but take this free time and invest heavily into personal projects, what they will say is spec projects. Use this time and make projects that you see yourself getting paid for. If you wanna do fashion films, do that. If you wanna do narrative, do that. This will work as a huge investment for your portfolio and then you'll start getting paid for the jobs that you actually wanna shoot. So yeah, with this video, I didn't want to just tell my story. I wanted to give a little bit of a practical perspective and help you guys moving on. So I hope you guys took something away from my story and my experience and if you guys want to watch the film, it's on Vimeo. I'll drop a link down below so you guys can watch it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Yeah, thank you for tuning in to this video and carry on.